It is a cold, cold Friday morning. Son of a bitch. Brr, I'm like shuddering, which is a good thing. Shit. Shivering, shivering burns calories, all right? I smell like gas. Did I spill gas on my balls or something? My God. It's like really bad gas. Not like fart gas. I mean, like, you know, gas. No clue where I'm going to figure it out. It ain't that hard. End of the road where the wind is blowing. The whole damn world is my backyard. Last night I slept on the edge of a mountain. Tonight I'll sleep on Sunset Strip. Next week it's down on Cocoa Beach. And then back on the road in Route 666. Man is out of physical therapy, working out, getting getting stronger. And me, I'm just in the cold. I don't know what to do today. Which makes you immediately regret hitting play. Brandon, when we hit play, we expect you <coughs> not to cough and to have an agenda of sorts. But no, I do not have that. I have no such thing. This video is a is a grab bag of of, of such of life things, <laughs> such as me sitting at a gas station. I've already pumped gas. I'm just sitting here for a second. I'm gonna tell a story about my balls um, after I get done ordering some delicious Chick-fil-A. What do you get from Chick-fil-A? Hi, thank you for choosing Chick-fil-A. What do you mean? May I have a name for the order? Hi, it's Brandon. Awesome, Brandon. How may I serve you today? Yes, yeah, awesome, Brandon. That's my full name. Awesome. How may I serve you? So I couldn't have been maybe, maybe 19 years old. And I was working a construction job with this weird guy. He was like a, oh, I don't know, he looked like a Dennis Hopper or something. It was really weird. He told me to hold on to this little carburetor. I think it was a carburetor for a cement mixer part of the engine for the cement mixer and I was holding it on my lap in a brown paper bag the reason I'm telling you this is the gas the smell of the gasoline over there always reminds me of this um, so I'm sitting there in this big truck and he's driving and I'm holding it right on my lap unbeknownst to me that the gas was leaking from this mechanical part through the brown paper bag through my blue jeans and onto my balls. Um, yeah, and at, at that point in my life, I don't remember experiencing any sort of pain that was comparable to the pain that I was going through with my burning balls. Um, so <clears throat> I said, dude, you got to pull over. You got to pull over. You got to pull over. He's like, why, why, why? And he's like, my balls, my balls. And he's laughing his ass off at me, which is hilarious. And hang on, I got to get my food real quick and you'll get the exciting conclusion to this story. Okay, now I'm waiting on my food, which is uh, rare, rare at Chick-fil-A. Usually they're on it. That's fine, though. It's not been long by any means. Anyway, um, gas leaking from the mechanical part, through the bag, through my jeans, onto my poor testicles. Um, so I asked him to pull over. I didn't know why. I just needed him to pull over immediately. And I ran out of his truck. I looked around, and I saw a spigot on the side of a house. So I ran to that house literally threw my jeans down by my ankles. I remember tripping on them, like I fell over on my naked ass. And I turned on that spigot, thankfully it worked. And I just put my balls underneath the thing. I'm humping their house. And I'm, it just, I'm, it wouldn't hurt, it didn't help. It just kept burning and burning and burning. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. And I'm just like, man, it was bad. It was really bad. And the water was okay, but it was, it, it, was, it helped, but not that much. All of a sudden, I hear daddy, daddy, and this little kid comes running around from the backyard, and I'm naked, humping the house, you know, oh, yeah, it's just, ah, I'm screaming, ah, and then the dad comes out, what the F are you doing, man, da, 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 da. I don't remember what he said, he's yelling, he's obviously, and rightfully so, upset with me for being naked and humping his house, so I'm like, I'm crying at this point. And I'm telling him, sir, 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 I got gas on my balls. I got gas on my balls. It hurts so bad. I'm just, just sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Thankfully, this guy starts cracking up. My boss in the truck is horse laughing the whole time, and I'm still burning to death via balls and pumping a house in front of a child. It took me a while to get to this story, but um, get through this story, but uh, it's, it's, it's there now. You know it. It's out there in the, in the universe, and um, you're welcome. Well, Chick Fil A's kind of shit in the bed here, man. I mean, I've been sitting around for what, like ten minutes, and they forget my order. It's getting a little, little stupid. I didn't order. I ordered a chicken sandwich. That's it. <laughs> what are we? What are we doing? See the difference between Chick Fil A and like McDonald's or Taco Bell or something, which, by the way, don't eat at any of those. Just don't. When Chick-fil-A messes up, when Taco Bell or like one of the ghetto fast food places mess up, um, which they did, they uh, don't apologize. They don't say anything. They're just like, whatever, here's your food. Uh, when Chick-fil-A makes you wait just an extra like five minutes, they give you free stuff. A lot of free stuff too, man. I mean, damn. And you cannot go wrong with a spicy chicken, egg, and cheese biscuit. It's kind of the greatest thing. The only other fast food item that I often crave is a Taco Bell sausage breakfast crunch wrap with a side of nacho cheese. Those two things combined, unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna eat this thing. Cool? On the last video you saw me making some shirts and coloring books while I've ordered samples. Look, a bridge. The Asai TV van life shirt. Anybody who's watched this show when I'm on my travels will know that I say this every time I see a bridge. Hey, look, a bridge. How many times have you seen the shirt that says, not today, Satan? Not today? Well, when? I made this. Near and dear to my heart. Perfect. You can tell I made this one. Thanks so much. <laughs> Another book. I forgot they were sending one by itself. This one's wet. That's not good. There's sticky crap all over it. Look at that. That kind of makes me upset. It's, it's like there's maple syrup on here. Did I make a maple syrup edition? Weird. Why is there maple syrup? No, it's on my pants. I think I'm gonna get my money back for that one. I'm kidding, I didn't buy these. Yeah. Okay, it was really weird. They sent me a box of my books. Chicken, Snake, and Chupacabra Cow, which is available on Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, all the online bookstores, you can get it. They sent me 19 in one box, and then they just sent me this one, which smells like maple syrup. It smells delicious, I want pancakes like now. But, um, story about this book, my son and I wrote it. He gave me some names and ideas, and I wrote the rest of it. Um, <laughs> if I liked the kid more, I would give him more credit, but uh, yeah, it's, our names are on it, anyway. Um, Wrote it two years ago, sent it to a publisher who sucked. And I'll tell you his name. His name was Brandon Mays. Gives all of us Brandons a bad name. His company was called Lit Genius, which it was anything but. And uh, terrible, terrible. I thought he was a friend. Uh, you know, he just ended up being a complete asshole. And I would, not a violent person, but he ripped us off for about 600 bucks and wouldn't give us a refund. He had two books to do. I got all these done with Gary Vincent at Burning Bulb Publishing. That guy is freaking incredible. I love Burning Bulb Publishing. So let this be a sponsor ad for them. Um, talk to Gary, tell him I sent you. Uh, he did all my coloring books, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But that lit genius, Brandon Mays, M-A-Y-E-S, look him up on Facebook and tell him he's a, he's an asshat. Um, 
yeah, ripped us off for 600 bucks. Uh, released this book about a year and a half ago, and it was missing three chapters. All right, you idiot. Did you even read the freaking book? No, I didn't think so. Uh, how do you publish a book on Amazon? And it was only on Amazon. How do I pay you hundreds of dollars to do something? You don't do it. And then you don't give the, um, I, I should take him to court. I just don't, it's just such a hassle. 600 bucks. He obviously needs it more than I do. He's a worthless piece of shit. And uh, I would love to beat his ass. All's well that ends well. And I'm really happy about this. I listened to the audio book a few nights ago and it's fantastic. The AI voice and audio books are unbelievable. And look at this. Mike Maley is the one who did the illustration. And he did an awesome job. Oh, I do love that little van though. I'm gonna miss it so much when it's time to move on. <sighs> Crappy weather, man. Look at this weather all week. This is why I'm glad I'm not in the van right now. Actually, it says 41 today, but it's raining all day. Look at this. Oops. Since we're kind of just snuggled up in the house now, I'm going to go uh, alter my appearance a little bit, I think. I've never used one of these before. Black Soap Gray Coverage Bar Shampoo. It uh, targets the uh, gray hair, blocks gray hair formation. Okay, listen. I'm not really good at this whole getting old thing. I don't like this, okay? I know people are like, oh, Silver Fox, it looks really good. I like it. No, no, dude. I'm not I'm not really into being an old man, even though I am officially 50 years old now. I don't like my body the way it is now. I don't like my gray hair, which is why I dyed this, but now I look like a mongoloid because I have blonde, black, gray, silver. I look like an idiot right now so if this thing here then they're not paying me to use this or anything i don't even know if this is does it have a brand name just black soap that looks like a little hockey puck it smells all right actually it tastes weirdly enough pretty good Zero instructions, by the way. So I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave it on. Uh, so it doesn't appear to be darkening anything. <laughs> I don't know if it's darker or not. I can't really tell. It doesn't look any darker, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's coming down now, isn't it? So yeah, this is gonna be a YouTube and a bright white beard day for me. I don't think I have anything to do this whole weekend, to be honest with you. Oh, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The cat's doing human things. Just got this one in. Amazon, good job driving through the snow. I got my battery-operated light-up road flares, too. Hopefully, I'll never use them. But yeah, I got some mousers. morning. Ugh. Days like this. <laughs> Here's the thing. If I was in the van and I wasn't here helping out, I would make it work. I'd be somewhere warm. I'd make the van warm. I'm not stupid. I've been doing this for a lot of years now. But I'm very grateful to be warm and with family. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are forced to live in their vehicles. I want to live in my vehicle. I love living in a vehicle. It's uh, pretty wonderful. Oh. 
97.3 Herbalife And now chicken So we got more appointments more Herbalife not not healthy. Um, don't let them fool you. Neither is greasy fried chicken. What are we doing? All right, Chicken Shack. Second time I've ever been there. Um, I mean, looks good, right? Oh yeah, I'm gonna stick to my diet. That yeah, looks good, doesn't it? It's a little soggy. Degree weather. Oh, it feels really good actually. Oh my goodness. Frozen ass trash cans have to go to the curb. goal in mind today I have to go pick up prescriptions I have a goal in mind today to finish the album the three songs I was gonna bring my laptop and everything with me but it's so early and I'm, it's not early it's just I'm not a very good singer maybe period I'm not a good singer who knows it's really you know it's each their own I can get the job done but um, I'm not a good singer this early my throat just doesn't want to Every time I want to get this damn album done, my, my voice is just like, no, we're not doing that today. I have three books that are basically written and ready to go. Like full-length books, not just coloring books. I'd like to get one of those done today, if not two. Submit those to the publisher. Uh, maybe I should make calendars. more of a night guy man when it comes to being creative and accomplishing things like music and books and coloring books and t-shirt designs and editing tv shows i'm much more of a night person well that's uh i guess that one's there till springtime huh i think i caused a thing out here There's like a big biscuit right there I didn't eat. Look at that. Eat it. Get down there and eat that big biscuit. Taste the biscuit. They won't take the biscuit. I have never seen ice this thick on a window before. Just trying to start it up. I haven't been driving it that much. Ridiculous. Well, the old van started right up. Drove it around the neighborhood. I could barely see because I don't think that ice is ever coming off of there. I'm just going to say I scraped it, but move. It's there for good. It's whatever. Hey, back at the Family Dollar, and look, there's another person, an employee, out there smoking right in front of the door. You are a piece of garbage, lady. Just a horrible, horrible person. Burr, freaking burr. At least my hat, my hat's keeping my head warm. The rest of me is, uh, stupid. But I saw stuff come into the mailbox. Oh yeah. This is 
two of seven shirts that are coming today and two books. <sighs> I got this one for my mom. Dropping shit everywhere. Look at that. That bag didn't even come out of our trash. You just leave it there, why right, don't you? Okie doke. Amazon has come. Amazon has arrived. Again, these are all my designs from the Human Shirt Company. And yes, China is taking back all the pandas. Got that one for my mom and for me. That's I say that quite often. I, uh, <laughs> that's my new favorite shirt. Please stop saying that. And you know, fantastic places to fart in Texas. The coloring book. Very cool and Fantastic places to fart in New York City. Another coloring book I made. These make me so happy. And all of this is available. These are on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. I think it's best if you get them on Amazon. All the uh, shirts are linked in my... Uh, oh, and I got a hoodie I made with the Adventure logo on it. Feels like a nice hoodie. Standard hoodie. Anyways, um, you can get any of this stuff and a whole lot more. I have 150 designs now on my Etsy store and Amazon has, I think, 10. You have to do this whole tier thing. My hair looks ridiculous. This whole tier thing, T-I-E-R, tier thing on uh, Amazon. It's, a, it's really annoying. But Etsy, my Etsy store, the human shirt company, is uh, packed full of designs and I want you to go check them out. Link is in the description, I do believe. And uh, you could have this panda shirt. Here's one, farmer's market. Yes, please. And undo it with one hand. Impasta. <laughs> Cupid shot me in the dick. Looks good. Little checkbox. Be my Valentine, yes or no? If you check no, you owe me a shirt. Looks good, right? Yep, pasta. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Hey, I'm still in the room. <laughs> I wrote an entire book today called Misophonia. The mental... What is it called? A mental something that makes me hate you. It's a book about misophonia. I've talked about it a lot. And this came in the mail today. I also have little journal books with uh, different things on it. Got a whole bunch of these different ones, so. Watching AEW for some reason, because it's on, I guess. It just kind of came on. Not a huge fan, even though I have a bunch of friends that work I work there, so congrats to them. I'm glad they're getting a paycheck. It's always good to have a... This is too much wrestling, man. I can't watch all the damn wrestling shows. I'll watch the ones I've been watching for decades, and that's about all I can afford as far as time. <laughs> Trying this again. So I looked it up. Are you supposed to foam it and then leave it for five minutes and then uh, rinse it out? You're supposed to do about three to five times before it takes any effect at all. Don't. What am I watching? Oh, I've never watched an episode of Friends in my life. I don't plan on starting now. I guess whatever I was watching just ended and it went to whatever that is. Gross. No. So back to work. Writing the 80s book. Why the 80s were awesome slash awful. And this came in the mail for me. It's the next one. It's number six. 
in the Fantastic Places to Fart coloring book franchise. So cool, man. <laughs> these are funny to me. I'm sorry. And I know there's people just like me out there that think these are funny as well. And they're going to buy them, aren't you? Aren't you, right? Go to Amazon. Barnes & Noble if you want to. I get a bigger cut on Amazon. But look, you can have this. Look how cool they look, man. They're badass. And I made these. Buy it. So all I gotta do is a nice little proofreading, and then <laughs> that's an annoying noise. Look at these pictures I picked from the eighties. <laughs> so I'm gonna end this one. Just day to day stuff, man getting stuff, t-shirts and comic uh, comic books and coloring books and writing books and the Go There Eat That Road Stories and Recommendations book is now available on Amazon as well. I have a bunch of those being shipped to me here pretty soon. Picked up a new sponsor. They are called, I want to say Bogue because they spell it like Rogue, you know what I mean? It could be bouge, like bougie RV. How do you spell bougie? I never say that. Anyway, um, yeah, we're, they're going to uh, hook up your friend Brandon's next van, the next, the big van, the nice van, with uh, with the solar and. I'm pumped. I'm probably gonna have to go find them. I don't know where they're at. Um. They have like portable air conditioners and refrigerators and all kinds of stuff, and I will dedicate myself to them, as well as Road Pro and you know the other sponsors, Magnetar and uh, Bass Dash. And there's so many great companies that we've been working with um, over the last couple of years, and I think that's just going to grow, grow, grow. And Asai TV, my main thing. Big announcements on that pretty soon. This summer's gonna be crazy.